Tonight, some lawmakers believe the federal government should regulate body armor sales. The idea comes after New York Senator Chuck Schumer says that body armor is one of the hallmarks of a mass shooter. Aid in your science, Washington, D.C. correspondent Raquel Martin is joining us now live with much more on this story. Raquel. Well, Senator Chuck Schumer says that too often people with evil intent are getting their hands on body armor. He says his plan could help track them down, but already it's facing some backlash, proving it could be a tough sell here on Capitol Hill. The gunman in the Dayton, Ohio shooting that killed nine people was wearing body armor. And days later, a man caused panic in a Missouri Walmart when he walked in wearing a bulletproof vest and carrying a rifle. Now, New York Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer says he wants the federal government to regulate body armor sales to civilians. Seems absolutely ridiculous. This is something that saves people's lives. The idea is sparking outrage from gun advocates like Nick Grote, who sells body armor online. If we ban body armor because of these few psychopaths, that means that we let them win. Richard Pearson, president of the Illinois State Rifle Association, calls it unconstitutional. More of a press release than a practical idea. Senator Schumer says he's targeting what he calls sophisticated or high-grade body armor because it's too easy for those with evil intent to buy them. The plan would not impact bulletproof backpacks, which have become popular with parents. Michigan Democrat and gun control advocate Debbie Dingle says right now this isn't at the top of her to-do list. I think we need to do more specifically about how do we keep guns out of the hands of those that shouldn't have them. Christian Hain with gun control group the Brady Campaign agrees but says they're open. We're not stopping the conversation anywhere right now because we know it's multifaceted. Federal law already prohibits convicted felons from buying body armor. Schumer says he plans to file his civilian body armor bill when Congress returns from recess next month. So how does law enforcement feel about this policy? Well, the National Sheriff's Association says they're not commenting yet, but the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association says they think it sounds rational to protect law enforcement when they're out on the street, but they say they still want to review the policy. For now, live in Washington, Raquel Martin, 8 on your side. And Raquel, real quick before we let you go, do you have a sense of what the chances are that this proposal actually gets passed? Well, that question is still unknown at this time because the bill hasn't been filed, so lawmakers will first have to look at the language before they can actually take a position. All right, Raquel, thanks so much for that live report out of D.C. for us tonight.